Oh my god, last time I tried to kill someone. I thought I would try to kill an elder with woohoo. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> What's up everyone? I'm Kelsey and I thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 infant challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and you try to have 100 children all within one lifetime. It's a speedrun version of the 100 baby challenge with some loosey goosey adjustments to the rules. Honestly, I'm gonna be real. I don't remember what happened last time, mostly because I've been sick. I'm back though, baby, and I'm very excited. This is the first video I'm filming since I've been sick. Also, I don't know if you guys knew, but yesterday, it was my birthday! So if you would like to give me the best gift of all, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Help me get to my goal of 900,000 subscribers and join the danger family. And I'm really excited to play some Sims. We're back. We got two kids. We got our vampire toddlers. We got Lucas, who probably wants to head out because I believe Huey and Lou are adults, if I'm not mistaken. No, Lou is not. She's a little behind. But Lucas, I think it's time for you to head out. I believe he, hold on. He is a triplet. A lot of you guys feel bad for Lucas because he got separated from his sisters. I don't know. I think he's just, you know, behind a little bit and that's okay. He had a lot more quality time with his siblings. So that was nice, but we will re reunite him with his sisters. So let's do that now. We're gonna move him in with Alonzo, his father. So there you have it. Goodbye, Lucas. It's been so nice having you. I miss you already. Huey, it's all you now, buddy. You look great. Luna's playing in the treehouse. It looks like her trying to sleep in there. And Brody is helping clean up. Jess is outside being a little inventor. She's a little tense. Today, Zane needs some sleep. Oh, he looks so sad. Poor Zane. It's as usual, we gotta kind of reassign some beds here. Everyone gets a bed. Luna is scared. She saw a ghost. Yeah, she was startled by a ghost. Luna, stop trying. Take a panic poop inside, okay? There's three bathrooms in this house. Use one, okay? Goodness. Louie, are you ready for school tomorrow? You are. Happy for you. Luna, are you ready for school tomorrow? You are. Happy for you. Brody, are you ready for school tomorrow? You are. Happy for you. Jess, also ready for school tomorrow. Zane is not yet ready for school, but Zane's pretty tired. So Zane, I want you to go to sleep, sleep. So Brody and Zane are taking a nap. Marie's asleep. Aaron, oh, has worked on his food, but he's a little messy eater, which you know what? I secretly love messy eaters. Good job, Aaron. Aw, what if because he's a messy eater, he's like a sloppy drinker when he's a vampire? That would be so cute. We have a lot of dirty diapers, a lot of money to be made here on diapers. But all the kids are going off to school. So bye, kids. Listen to your teachers. Oh my God, two of my kids are asleep. Go to school, go to school. Okay, you don't have class yet. Sorry, Zane, I forgot that you just aged up. Go back to sleep. Everybody else is going, are you not going to school? Go to school, what are you doing? Well, stop trying to skip school, oh my God. All right, fabulous. They're all at school, possibly an hour late. Chelsea's gotta go take care of the babies that are both crying. Chelsea, why aren't you upstairs with the babies? Go get them, Chelsea, come on. Chelsea's taking care of the babies. Jess is learning some things and so is Brody. Aaron, what are you working on? How about your big brother comes and potty trains you? while Chelsea tries to, oh my God, why is this baby still crying? I just fed you, what is wrong? It just wants to be held, come on. Oliver, stop being needy, we both need sleep. All right, there we go, Oliver seems a little better. No more Oliver, I'm going to bed. Huey is potty training Aaron, which is perfect. He's almost level two of imagination, so maybe we'll work on that next. He acquired the potty skill, excellent. And little Aaron, I want him to like hiss or something, you know? Show me your vampiric ways. Chelsea having a nice sleep, and Huey, is also getting a nice sleep from his rough needs. And Aaron is working on his skills, which is perfect. He's gonna finish up his imagination. Good job, Aaron. Somehow, I don't know why, but Aaron kind of reminds me of the baby version of the Grinch when he's like, Santa, bye-bye. I mean, maybe it's just like the cute aggression vibes. I don't know. He has the same energy. What are you doing, Huey? Huey's just listening to some nice tunes. Love that for you, King. Cute. Chelsea's taking care of the babies autonomously. Love to see it. Aaron's working on his thinking skill. So we have one level three skill from Aaron already. Ollie, why are you so upset? Ollie needs food. Okay. Oh, Aaron is not enjoying life right now. He wants to go to bed. Aaron, why don't you go to sleep? We'll have you both 
pause for today and we'll wake up your sister once everything's all good. Chelsea, where are you down here? You should be sleeping. Oh my God, are taking care of this baby. Go change the dirty diaper, Chelsea. You know you got your son Huey down here on toddler duty. He's crushing it. All right, what are your skills there, darling? She's almost at imagination level three as well. So perfect, we'll just have her maybe play inside the tent. Oh my God, all my kids are here and Louie's grades are up. Congratulations, Louie. Louie can now stay home with her brother and they are now matched back up. Louie's very tired, but we can blow out the candles and celebrate our day. What about the rest of you kids? Anybody else? Oh, Luna's an A student, so she could be a teen now. Brody's an A student, he can be a teen now. And Jess is a B student. Good job, Jess. And Zane is a C student, obviously, because he stayed home. He, I don't think he aged up quick enough. I think Jess aged up a little quicker than her so that she got to go to school first, if I recall correctly. I might not, I forget all the time. But anyway, we got some birthdays to do. Birthdays to do, birthdays to do, and birthdays to do, yeah. Happy birthday, Louie! Lulu, our serial romantic queen is aging up. We're gonna keep that serial romance because I think it's funny. Her last trait is family oriented. Aw, she's good, proper family oriented, but she does like, you know, multiple partners. She doesn't wanna settle down, which is so cute. I love that for you, Louie. We got two more birthdays to do. All right, Luna, I'm talking to you. Oh, you're exhausted. Okay, Brody, I'm talking to you. Oh my God, they're both exhausted. Well, one of you's gotta age up. Both of you come downstairs, it's time to age up. Happy birthday, Brody. He's having a great birthday. He is lactose intolerant and a child of the ocean. And pick a number one through 16. One, he is an animal lover. I feel like we've had a lot of those. Little Brody. Oh, wow, he looks like a businessman with long hair. Okay, Brody, why do you look so old? He looks terrifying. He looks like the man that they send over to your house to take the money back to intimidate you. Oh, but he's supporting his twin sister. Luna is a cheerful kleptomaniac and pick a number one through 16. 13. She wants to go to Batu. Pick a number one through two. She wants to be a galactic privateer. You know what? Actually, that makes a lot of sense with her being a kleptomaniac. You know what? I think that sounds very very fun for you. A galactic privateer with Crocs. Let's quickly make these kids look a little bit more like teens and less like fully formed adults. I do love the long hair. Since he's a child of the islands, you know, I think long hair is cool. He's got Batu hair actually, so that's fun. We can do an updo if you prefer the updo. We could do, oh, a nice clip, a little claw clip moment, nice braid. I wanna give him like a casual beachy vibe and we'll give you maybe matching colored shoes. Perfect. Luna, on the other hand, let's give you a bit of a makeover as well. I will say my Sims ages up almost all of my teenage girls with hairy chests. And I don't know if she needs a hairy chest hairy back, but here we have it. She's got a very angular face, very unique eyes. Who are your parents? Is Link your father? There's no way Link from The Legend of Zelda had this dude. Did Link give you these brows? You know what? Maybe he did. And then Jess just got a B, so no more aging up. So why don't you two go to bed? Louie? Let's get you upstairs into your bed. Brody's going to bed. Luna's going to bed. Jess is going to bed. Zane is in bed. Zane, I think you should wake up. Let's have you kind of take a shower. Oh my God, I forgot. Uh, I forgot I gave you uh, access to my house at all times. You know, we avoided a rampaging werewolf in my home while he lived here. And now we have to deal with one while he doesn't live here. So I feel like it makes sense, but I'm not happy about it. But we got Marie who's up chilling. Louie's going upstairs really needs to go. Poor Louie. Okay, she's up. She's like, okay. Maybe you want to do your homework really quick while you listen to some music. Zane, why would you destroy the dollhouse like that? You little brat. Why would you do that? Go do your homework. I'm mad. Can we come repair the dollhouse before Marie sees it. I bet she'll get very upset. Or Jess, honestly. Jess has always been upset about the dollhouse breaking. Speaking of which, we need you to work on your imagination. So go play in there. Zane is doing his homework. Good job, Zane. Luna's doing her homework. Good job, Luna. Huey is gonna go rebuild the dollhouse. Marie is sad about the dollhouse. She found out. Poor dolls. Who's here? Who's here? Oh my god, it's my son. Give him residence keys. Look, it's Mason. Oh my god, Huey 
and Mason kind of give me similar vibes. Oh, and look who else is here. It's Amelia. Come on in, Amelia. Oh my God, all my kids are visiting. It makes me so happy. No, Marie, don't go in your diaper. Go, Marie. Marie, we were just about to potty train you. Well, that's fine. Oh, are you okay, buddy? Why are you so stinky? Go take a shower. Oh my goodness. Why do none of my sips take care of themselves? Everybody's needs are just meh. They're so bad. Okay, there is a baby crying. Chelsea is exhausted and taking care of it. Maria is getting potty trained. Maybe we can teach her thinking after this. Zane is playing in there. Good job, Zane. Have you done your homework? You have. And you got all your skills up. Good job. Okay, you live your life, Zane. Jess, have you done your homework? You have not. But Jess has no fun and no bladder. Oh my God. Oliver. Chelsea, what are you doing? Chelsea, take care of Oliver and go to sleep, okay? Everybody's kind of doing stuff. I'm not keeping good track of everyone, to be honest. Oh my God. The babies are aging up. Oliver is intense. Great. Somehow I'm not surprised. And Ollie is sensitive. Oliver and Ollie are aged up. Repeat, Oliver and Ollie are aged up. I am nervous, but they seem to be chilling. So maybe I'll be able to make them go to bed. Okay, good night, kids. Good night. Babies are getting taught. Zane taking out the trash like a good king. Jess experimenting, enjoying her fun, getting her skills up. Okay, Luna gonna go eat some food. Fabulous. Brody, I'm gonna have you do your homework. I'm sorry. Marie go to bed. Erin's almost ready to go to be woken up, so perfect timing for her to maybe head to bed. Oh yeah, oh wow, it's a party with the fam. Amelia and Mason brought the party, and I love it. Oh, speaking of bringing the party, wasn't there some photos that we took? Who took the photos? Oh no, did one of the kids take the photos and they moved out? Oh my gosh, I think my son took the photos with them when I moved them out this morning. Ah! Oh well, it's fine. Oh and look, they're hanging out in the teen room too. Aww. Oh, Zane, he's goofing with his brother Brody. So cute. Jess working on her skills. Oh, Marie hates bedtime. Of course she does. She's gonna keep trying to wake up. I mean, she is a vampire, so. You know, the fact that she doesn't like to sleep kind of tracks. Jess is doing her homework. Louie, are you getting up there? Are you gonna go to bed? Thank you. Everybody seems to be doing what I need them to do. They're getting it done. Perfect, so we only have these two awake still. She's working on that focus. Hopefully she'll finish up this skill and then she'll be ready to age up tomorrow into a teen. She's a B student. Now she probably won't get up tomorrow, but you know, we tried. Why don't we have you go to sleep, girly girl? Oh God, there's no food available. Did someone steal this? There's like a creepy doll in here. That doll can stay there. All right, let's serve everything. Get some food for little Aaron before he starts trying to gnaw on us. Oh, he's gonna go watch his brother. Oh, cute. Oh, and he just had a big old fart. Okay, Chelsea's putting the BBs to bed. They're getting their stuff done. Your stuff is done. You haven't done your homework yet, sir. Can you do your homework, please? I need you to be a good student. I know you're telling a story to your vampiric toddler friend. Ollie's like, Mom, I've just been here. Chelsea's like, I'm sorry. And then she can finally go get some rotisserie chick. Sounds delicious. How you doing, Oliver? Oliver's fussing a bit, but I think gonna go to sleep. Yay, good job. Aaron needs a bath. So I think after this, we're gonna have someone bathe Aaron, and I think that someone's gonna be Huey as usual. Brody's doing his homework. Luna's already done her. I'm just boom, 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 getting through them all. Mom did a great job. She earned herself that rotisserie chicken. We're gonna go to sleep after this chicken. Yay, Aaron's getting a bath. He deserves it. Aaron's good to go. He's gonna just relax. Oh my god, his sister's up. Why are you up? I don't want you both up at the same time. Maria! Whatever, it's fine. Maria's gonna go get herself some ceviche. Love that for her. Zane, how are you doing with all your skills? Perfect. Doesn't need to do anything else. Maria's eating. Brody has completed his homework. Good job, Brody. Is Luna doing extra credit? Luna, you're my new favorite child. Don't tell the other kids, okay? But you're my favorite. The kids are both gonna do their blocks, cute. Good job, kids. I love the amount of like teens to adults that I have. It's just a perfect ratio. I've been looking for this the whole time. Oh, it's TV season premiere night. Perfect time to maybe toss a coin to a new baby daddy's way. It's time to wake up and go to school. Are you all going to school? You've got this. Only four of them are going to school right now. Okay, bye kids. Marie is doing her blocks. Erin has decided to go rogue and start playing with something. No, 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 Erin. We need you to work on the skills that you need. Ollie's good. Okay, who's up and has like good needs? You're almost there. Huey is there. Okay, so let's put Ollie here and work on Ollie's stuff. No power conservation. No.
What am I supposed to do without Bauer? Can he still play on his Wabbit tablet? Oh my God, why are you like this? Why do you hurt me this way? Brush your teeth. All my lights are still on. When does the conservation thing happen? Is it like noon or something? I don't know. Oh, Marie, keep working on your thinking skill. You're almost there. Oh, Chelsea's even up and she's feeling flirty. Oh, a phone to pick. Brody was discovered playing games on his phone when he should have been paying attention. Um, just confiscate his phone. It's all good. Aaron's just sad about having an accident on the potty, but that's okay. It's already cleaned up, buddy. Chelsea's taking care of the infant. There's now like three adults and four kids. I don't need that much supervision. It's amazing. And Ollie finally reached a milestone. Yes, Ollie. Okay, we got our first milestone unlocked. I thought that our gross motor skill would have happened by now, but it did not. Oliver, do you want to like work on your skills, please? No, he's looking at toys and looking at Ollie. He's looking at his brother. This is so cute. Okay, good job, King. You crushed that potty. All all right, his potty training is now finally level two. So he's level two on imagination, movement, and potty. He needs to work on movement more. Marie's gonna get potty trained. I like how uh, Louie's like getting both infants. Well, what are you doing? You're just holding him? Are you gonna change his diaper or what? Like Ollie clearly has a stinky diaper. Huey's like, I don't know what I'm doing. That's the point. I haven't dealt with any infants yet. I've just dealt with toddlers so far. Oh yay, good job. Oliver lifted his head. Let's go. First gross motor skill on the map. Let's go. Oh my God. One of my children is waddling around outside alone. And it is Aaron. Aaron needs movement skill. I think we, if he plays with him, I think that levels up movement skill. I could be wrong. Let's go see. Yep, that does help with his uh, movement skill. Perfect. And look who is over. It's Amelia. And Chelsea's getting a phone call from an unknown caller. The drop has been made. Who is this? I got pranked. Ha ha ha. Why are you prank calling a mother? Okay, Oliver's going to bed. Aaron is getting playtime, which is amazing. Marie is getting potty trained. Woohoo! Good job, Marie. Leveled up your potty school. All right, let's read Marie to sleep. Huey decided to go take a nap on the couch. Aww. And Chelsea is just chilling. Go take a cold shower. You're very flirty. Although, I could take you out on the town. All right, we're gonna have to go hunting for a witcher. Not to be confused with winch hunting, okay? I don't approve of that. Oh, my kids are home. Any new things? <gasps> Brody Brody's grades are up and Luna's grades are up. Oh, Jess's grades are up too. And who swiped somebody? Luna swiped an object while at school. She literally stole dirty dishes. I don't wanna like be judgmental of my children, but also why? All right, well that means though that Louie and Huey are off the hook. Why don't you blow out your candles here and age yourself up, Brody? He does wanna become flirty. Oh my. Okay, Brody is a dog lover. I think he was an animal lover already, if I remember that correctly. If not, I'm sorry. Come on. Luna, you don't have to do homework anymore. Happy birthday, Luna. Everybody's celebrating her, that's so sweet. I don't really want Huey to leave. I feel like I've really bonded with Huey. I really like Huey. I like having him around. Oh, she's evil. Oh no, Luna. Luna, are you kidding? Say psych right now. She is ch a cheerful, evil person who loves to steal and wants to be a galactic privateer. Love that. Not really. Oh my God, no. Jess can age up, but I think I think I'm gonna let Jess chill because I kind of want Zane, who I think is her twin, to get to her level. Yeah. And I guess we can let Huey go. Oh, I liked Huey. He was doing such a good job. Honestly, I'd rather keep Huey around than Brody. I'm just really sad. And we hardly got to spend any time with Louie. And she was doing so good. And look at her freckles. All right, they're both gonna move in with Amelia, who's been visiting a lot. And that means that Brody and Luna are the eldest right now. So they're gonna be the ones helping out with the kids. Jess, why don't you eat a snack, take a shower, and then like do your homework. Actually, she doesn't really need to do her homework. You do whatever you want. Zane is the one that we need to level up. So Zane has a mental skill and needs to use the toilet. So we use the toilet, Zane, and then maybe go upstairs and work on your mental skill. Thank you very much. Marie is up. No, Marie. She's like, hi. We're like, no, no, no. We're reading you back to sleep, Marie. Okay. Oh my God. Look who's here. It's Mason. Invite him in. Give him residence keys. We're going to invite everybody in. Oh, Oliver. He just unlocked his coup milestone. Good job, Oliver. Zane, how you doing? Did you finish the skill? Boom. There he goes. Good job, Zane. Oh, Jess got in a fight with someone about void critters. They argued about which void critter is more powerful. Oh my God, it's Lucas. 
Oh my god! Wait, let's invite in Lucas first and give him some residence keys. Lucas, you're back! Jess is having a good time playing with her dollhouse that she always cried over as a baby. So cute. Hanging out with her siblings that come visit. I love when the siblings come visit. They probably come visit now more because we have a nice house. Oh, Lucas. Lucas, come on over, Lucas! Lucas, will you come move me? Oh my god, he will. I love it. Zane is, oh, doing homework on the little desk. I love this little area. Some people don't like it because this is not up against a wall, but I kind of like that it makes into, into different zones, you know? I feel like I'm used to every time we do tummy time, them getting a skill, but apparently that's not the case. Jess is going to bed. Good job, Jess. Babies are doing great baby things. Zane, what the heck, Zane? No, we are firmly going to express our disappointment. These kids in this destroying of the dollhouse. Oh, but praise effort and social growth let's let's praise him really quick and then we'll go fix it she's like i'm really proud of you for working on your social growth zane i don't want to hurt a child's confidence there you go no look at him he's so cute he got a little thing what does that mean all energized by support by chelsea he's got a new sentiment that's so cute i might give a lot of my kids flack for destroying dollhouses but in reality when i was a little girl i actually was a menace i was a terror and i destroyed my my older sister's dollhouse. I wanted to just take it apart to its little bits and pieces. You know, no one's perfect. Ollie's doing some tummy time with mom while Oliver is asleep. And Zane is uh, learning some emotional control by playing with a sweet little kitty cat toy before we go to bed. Zane, did you put that cat in your inventory? He did. He's like, that's my cat now. I'm like, all right, whatever. Chelsea's needing some food. And look who's here! For a second, I thought this was Chelsea. But it's not, it's Ellie. Ugh. Oh, Ellie. Wait, we didn't watch the TV premiere. Let's go watch the Game of Llamas premiere. It's late, but Chelsea never gets to do many fun things. I never do the season premiere. She's probably gonna fall asleep watching the show, but yeah, she was like, I'm, I'm done with that. That looks like Indiana Jones, which I also love, but she's a little tired and every peach -ish -may is asleep, except for then one woke up immediately. Oh my goodness, she is rough. Poor Luna. Okay, Luna, we're gonna make sure to take care of you because you are probably gonna have to step in a lot today while Chelsea is recuperating. Let's take a shower and then we need to eat and have fun and watch the Game of Llamas premiere. Perfect. Because you love TV season premiere day. Luna's gonna watch her TV. Oh my gosh, they both learned how to grab stuff at the same time. Look at these two. Ollie and Oliver are might be their most in sync twins that we've had in a minute. That's actually very spooky. I love it. Uh-oh, she's watching a kind of scary, saucy show and uh <laughs> Aaron's just like, yeah, the undead, I am one of those. I am not afraid of it at all. He's just chilling, watching the show about zombies, like zombies, psh, I could eat zombies for breakfast. Nothing phasing this toddler. And Luna, now that you are pretty much ready to go, Aaron's gonna go take care of Aaron's needs. Okay, bye Luna, thank you. So she's gonna take care of the infants this morning. Luna reached parenting level one. Good job, Luna. Total boss. All right, so she's gonna put down Ollie, whose needs are A plus now. And she's going to bottle feed Oliver who, yes, yes! It's a delicate dance that we are playing. Oliver rolled over on his back, good job! Oh my gosh. Oliver now has two and two, perfect. Jess is looking good. Zane's figuring his needs out. Oh, Marie's up and she's gonna go get some food too. We just need the potty training. So that's gonna be the big uh, project of today and getting Brody's needs better. Jess and Brody are jokesters together. That's cute. Jess and Brody. Look at these goofballs. Oh, and Jess likes stories because Brody's telling her stories. That's so cute. What a cute little big brother moment there. All right, let's do it again, Luna. Give her a bath. It's all you. It's your time now. Sorry, Brody. It's time for you to give a bath to Marie. Aaron's going through it, though. He's halfway through, and he was, I think, not that high before, so proud of you, Aaron. Are these two going to school now? Yep, they're going to grade school. Bye, kids. Have fun at grade school today. Can't wait for you to be teens. Teens, 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 teens. All right, so we got the two adult twins potty training the baby twin. I love that. And Ollie's up. Chelsea, can you hang out with Ollie? Maybe do some tummy time with Ollie, please. Oh, I forgot that Luna's evil, but she's feeling very happy. She kind of enjoys potty training Aaron because he hates it so much. Keep going. Again, 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 again. And Aaron's just like, please let it be over. This is torture. But no, 
It can't be over. Oh, oh my gosh, Jess's principal is calling her big brother Brody because they're so close. And apparently she's been trying to run around and kiss people. She's too young for kissing. Make sure to go tell all of them you're sorry. Oh, it's love day, I forgot, and Zane, oh, Zane and Jess are gonna have love day today at school. Zane's school always allows students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other during class. With some money to spend, Zane decided to take advantage of the fundraiser and celebrate the holiday. Zane decided to surprise the entire class with flowers while setting in math each flower was hand delivered, taking enough time to get them out of a test. Love it. Ooh, and Jess decides to handcraft a card for her crush, complete with pipe cleaner, hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. Jess secretly dropped the card in the cubby. When the other kids came from recess, she watched from across the room as her card was opened. Glitter spilled out from the envelope, but it was surpassed in brightness by her crush's smile. Ooh! Although her involvement remained a secret, Jess went the rest of her day with warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Aw, she made her crush smile. That's so cute. I love that. Ooh, Ollie rolled over. Oh my gosh, really, Ollie? Okay, Ollie's two for two. Hey, kids, the toddlers are getting free, and I need them to finish their pottying. He's like, no, I don't want to go. And he's like, come on. You got to finish this or you won't become a kid. Aaron reached potty level three. Good job, Aaron. Okay, now you're good to go. Okay, you've got two and you've got two. They're matching up again. This is incredible. Oh, Ollie's looking like he got his toe in his mouth. Good job, Ollie. Wait, I think Oliver put his toe in his mouth. Okay, so he's good with his fine motor skills. He just needs one more gross motor. Aaron's like, I'm seeing him do all these fun things and nobody's celebrating me and my accomplishments. All right, Ollie's going to bed. Oliver's getting tummy time, but actually Oliver needs to go to bed too. So maybe we'll have Chelsea put him to bed and we're just gonna finish up and age up our toddler. Our toddlers are aging up. And I can't believe that Chelsea has not had her children yet. Why are you destroying that? No, girl. You clean that back up, Luna. So we're going to help Marie blow out some candles. And Luna, you are going to clean up the toilets. Somehow Nine Sims feels very manageable. I'm like, this is a great size family. <laughs> and it's Nine Sims. Okay, here she goes, though. Marie aged up and she's a little hot-headed. Okay. Pick a number one through five. Five. Okay, she's a multi-skill. Pick a number one through four. Four. One, okay, she is a playtime captain and hot-headed. Yay, happy birthday, Marie. Oh my God, I love the little hat, Marie, so cute. I'm so excited, we're gonna have two teens and two children around the same time which is perfect. And then we just need to finish up Oliver and Ollie and we'll be raring to go for the two new babies, two or hopefully three that are coming soon. All right, here we go. Oh, he blew up the candles. Yay. Okay, Aaron. It's gonna go age up. And oh, they just came home. And Jess also has an A. So we're aging up everyone at the same time. Aaron is a child of the ocean. That's not gonna work out for you, buddy. Maybe we should roll again. He's the genius. Okay. I do feel bad. Maybe we'll keep the child of the ocean later. Oh, he's a whiz kid and a genius. That's cute. All right. Oh, and now he's got dark hair. And now that you guys are both here, Jess, why don't you come blow out the candles and age up into your teen self and Zane. Your birthday time is coming up too. Oh my goodness. All the kids aging up. Happy birthday birthday. Oh, Jess. Wow. That was spooky. She like stepped off on a little thing and then stepped back down again. Jess aged up and she is a geek proper and pick a number one through 16. 11. She is an outdoor enthusiast. Oh, I love her cute little skirt with the oversized sweater and the little bun bun. That's pretty cute. All right, Zane, it's all you. There's so many birthdays and I'm celebrating my birthdays. It's like they're celebrating me. So thank you, Sims, for celebrating my birthday. He's hot-headed and hates children. Wait, this kind of makes sense why he kept destroying the dollhouse. Pick a number one through 16. 13, Star Wars. Pick a number one through two. All right, so he wants to go and decide whether he wants to stand with the resistance or be a part of the first order. Maybe we'll let him re-roll that one. What happened to your beautiful head of hair? I'm changing that. No way I'm letting my gorgeous child go from having the cutest little wavy hair to having a ball bald spot as a teenager. I just don't feel like this looks like his hair. So we're gonna give him like the cute little head of hair that he deserves and his little freckles. Oh, I love when my kids age up with freckles. It's so cute. I cannot believe we haven't had a baby yet. Like how have we not had these babies yet? How? 
Sorry, Chua. Okay, we got Marie, who honestly looks like she's ready to audition for Oliver and Company. And we have Aaron, who looks like he wants to be part of Riverdale. Chelsea's upstairs, but it is love day. So I do think since we've had everybody age up and everyone's looking perfect. We're going to do a cheeky little travel with Chelsea and we're going to see if we can catch ourselves a witcher or someone. Just literally anyone would be fine. I always want to go to the library, but then they never show up at the library or maybe like a gym. I feel like he might show up to the gym. We're going to go to the celebration center and hope that one of your guys' sims shows up. Crossing my fingers. Toss a coin to your witcher. Anyone here? Oh my God, is it Link? No, that's Kyle. Kyle sim. Do we know you? We do not know you. He's not married. He is an adult. I think he's a new townie from expansion. So let's introduce ourselves to Kyle Carlson. Hi, Kyle. I saw you from across the room. Blow a little kiss. It's love day, baby. Oh my God. Is that my ex? I'm sorry. Why is Johnny Zest haunting the celebration center? Kind of upsetting. We're going to buy him a daisy. I feel like he, he might not have the most expensive taste, you know? We'd be like, I picked this for you. See, he thought it was cute. He has such chilled taste. I did want a witcher though. All right. So this amorous exchange is going pretty well. Wait, was that that teen? Is he an adult now? Another town needs Dustin! <gasps> it's that celebrity I tried to seduce. Oh, wait, it's Simeon! Wait, aren't we pregnant with Simeon's babies right now? No, thanks. I think I am. Which I'm hoping at least one of them is a spellcaster. I think that's what we're hoping for right now. Because then we would be having at least four more kids. We're at 35. We'd be at 39. We'd almost be at 40 kids. <laughs> we're doing good for love day. You know, we're having some fun steamy flirts. Ooh, let's have our first kiss. We were already kissing Kyle's neck in the middle of a community center. So I suppose we might as well have a first kiss with Kyle. She wants to hold hands with him. Oh, well, we should do that because we want to rack up those points. Let's attempt to seduce him. Oh, they can woohoo in a bush. Kyle Kyleson does give me woohoo in a bush type of vibes. I'm going to say yes. All right, they're going to go woohoo in the bush. Ooh, oh my God. He just tapped that. And they're um having some bush time. I've never felt more certain of my decision to put a bush at this location. This is our second time. All right, they did it. And oh my God, Chelsea's in labor. Oh my gosh, Chelsea. Okay, go to the hospital. He's like freaking out. He's like, um, oh my gosh, we just woohooed and you're already in labor. Is it mine? And she's like, no, you sweet baby angel. No, it is not. We're gonna join her at the hospital and we're gonna go. Let's go, Chelsea, let's go. Oh my gosh, baby time. Please be spellcasters. Please be spellcasters. Please be spellcasters. Fatia, it's my girl. Is she gonna flirt? Apparently she is trying to seduce a nurse. So that's great. Maybe we will still kill a Sim after all in this episode, <laughs> but we need to have these babies first. Okay, so let's have a baby. It's a girl, yes. Okay, I'm going to look up your guys' names as usual in my comments. Oh, this one says Pearl after my daughter. I had her during the first baby challenge and your videos really helped me through pregnancy. That's so sweet. Okay, so let's do Pearl. Pearl and Peach May, welcome to the family. Oh, it's another girl. Okay, do we have another P name? Penelope Paisley. Let's do Paisley. Paisley and Peach May, welcome to the family. And <gasps> it's triplets. Okay. Pearl Paisley and this next person, Paula, my sister. Sorry if I say it very American-y. Pearl Paisley and Paula, welcome. Oh my gosh. Okay, one of them is a spellcaster at least. Paisley is confirmed spellcaster. I think Paula is too. And I don't know about Pearl, but I think we have at least two. How do we check? We're gonna go home. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All three have spellcaster bassinets, which means that counts as six, which means we'd be at 41 babies. I was thinking like, oh, how cute would it be if they're twin witches? Cause they'd be like twitches, but this is triplet witches, which I think would still be twitches now that I think about it. So we got some twitches. We got Pearl, Paula and Paisley. Oh my gosh. We got a tree of witches in the house. I'm a little nervous. You know, every time I say I want triplets to speed the challenge up. And then when I have triplets, it's kind of hard. But you know, one always gets left behind of the triplets. So take your bets now. Who do you think I'll forget is a triplet? Paisley, Paula, or Pearl? Hopefully it's none of them. Hopefully I remember. They do all have P names, so maybe it'll be easier for me to remember next time. I'm gonna leave this one here because I don't really wanna deal with that. And Chewy is ready to go have snacks, aren't you Chewy? So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for celebrating my birthday with me. What a birthday gift to have triplet witches in the house. Very excited about that. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week and I will see you around the internet very soon. Bye.